Having a seriously ill child is probably one of the biggest worries you can ever have as a parent. She deteriorated very quickly. She nearly died. You don't know what this life is until you've been through it yourself. Every day, blessing what we've got with her. So many tiny babies fighting for their life. And then Flynn joined them in his fight for his life. Sometimes very sick children have to be transferred to specialist hospitals, which are often hundreds of miles from where they live. And at this difficult time, members of the family end up sleeping in the hospital or running up hotel bills, which they simply cannot afford. This is why the charity, The Sick Children's Trust, supports families during this traumatic period. Zariah was diagnosed with a heart defect when she was just six months old. Started back in Glasgow. She was going to a routine appointment. She was breathing a bit heavily and they noticed that her heart was very dilated. So they diagnosed her with a heart condition and her outcome is a heart transplant. When you were travelling back and forth from home in Glasgow to the hospital, how long did that take? Hour and a half on public transport. And taxis was too much money because I over £30 had pound to go from my house to the hospital and to do that twice a day, every day. I couldn't afford it, I really no. couldn't. And how did you manage for the first month or so when you had Zarias in the hospital up there? Well, That's a lot of the nights I was sleeping in the hospital, but some nights they says that I wasn't able to because I was just stopping in like the waiting room. And the one night I did go home the next morning, that was when she um, nearly died. Don't talk about none of this, you know. And it's hard sometimes going through everything. Of course it is. Of course it is, my darling. When I was nine years old, I had my tonsils taken out in hospital. My mother got the time wrong when she was supposed to collect me, so I was left there all alone. And I still remember that fear, worrying that she was never going to come back for me. I don't want any seriously ill child to ever go through fear like that, which is why for the last 30 years I've supported the Sick Children's Trust. They offer essential free accommodation as well as emotional and practical support to families with really sick children located at specialist paediatric hospitals. Providing a place to stay means families can focus on getting their child better and not stress about how to fund their hospital stay. The Sick Children's Trust has 10 home from homes around the country. These children can be ill for quite a long time. The family basically have to sort of move their life here. Each of our home from homes is um, located very near to the hospital. But they can also rest peacefully knowing that if there are any problems with the child, the nurses can get in touch with them straight away. Zara and Nathan moved into Scott House in Newcastle in April last year when their daughter Darcy was treated for a serious heart condition. Has it helped that you... Oh, it's phenomenal being here. Like, at least this is on the doorstep, whereas obviously being back in Middlesbrough, we've got to travel a good hour we each time. Here here. If something went wrong, we could be straight over. Look at her, look, why do I... <gasps> oh. We often have um, parents who can stay in the house while they're training on the ward to look after their sick child, but also the children themselves can come over, and so the parents can have a bit of a trial run of looking after that child before they go home. £30 will support a family for one night in a home from home near to their sick child. And that isn't just parents, brothers, sisters and grandparents too, which gives such comfort to everyone. My brother Flynn was born premature. He's 19 months old. He needs oxygen. Helen was 25 weeks pregnant when she went into labour and was transferred to Addenbrooke's Hospital in Cambridge. I was worried about where I was going to stay after I delivered and 
I was worried about being so far away from home. After two weeks in hospital, Helen gave birth to a baby boy. Flynn was diagnosed in the first 24 hours with something called chronic lung disease, um, and that affects his lungs. They're just not mature enough to take oxygen out of the air. Helen was given a room at Chestnut House, which is a home from home that is situated inside the hospital. To live at home and be an hour away where you've got to produce milk, express it, give it in to them, on top of the stress of going backwards and forwards, is just not feasible. We would have got into a lot of debt if I'd had to go in a hotel, because you're just not worrying about money, you're worrying about whether your child's going to get through the next day. And Flynn's brother was also able to stay with him. My son, who was seven at the time, he came to visit at weekends. It meant that I could see him, see how he was getting on. In total, I was away from home for six months. It was such a benefit for him and for him to meet his brother as well. When I first saw him, when I touched his hand, it felt so soft. And it was very small. Staff at the Home From Homes are the focal point for families returning back from the hospital. They offer support when families might still be digesting what is happening to their child. This emotional support can be invaluable. Abby, she was a real support to us. When Dan couldn't be with us, you know, I could go and have a cup of tea and have a chat with her and with the other parents within the house, made some long life friends, and that made all the difference. Last year, the charity helped around 4,000 families. And all of the homes from home are run entirely on voluntary donations with no government money. How is Zariah doing now, Leander? She has had a lot of up and downs, but right now she's stable. So that's all I can ask for right now. The last thing you want as a parent is to worry about money, trying to find somewhere to, to put your head down close to your child when they're so sick. And the home from home gives them that opportunity to be right next, right next to them. Put yourself in their shoes for a moment and imagine the pain of being separated from your critically ill child. And just think what a help being in a home from home would be to you. Having a child who is sick is such an enormous worry to parents and for the whole family. But with your generosity, it will be one less thing for them to worry about. So please do give what you can. To make a donation, please go to the website www.sickchildrenstrust.org. If you want to donate by phone, then call 0207 638 4066. Or if you'd like to post a donation, please make your cheque payable to the Sick Children's Trust and send it to the Sick Children's Trust, 4th floor, 28 to 30 Worship Street, London, EC2A, 2AH. And if you want the charity to claim gift aid on your donation, please include an email or postal address so that they can send you a gift aid form. Thank you.